Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about why it's important to pursue success, self-improvement, spirituality, rather than fun and pleasure. So I'm gonna take an example of, or I'm gonna give you like a time perspective on uh, like a man in his youth, right? So typical, like the typical teenager slash like, you know, young 20 year old male in Western society is, you know, kind of just degenerate, right? And from the beginning of high school, all the way up until graduation, and all the way probably till the end of college, uh, just chases pleasure and fun, right? Their, their whole theme of life is pretty much 80% fun, 20% being serious slash doing homework, uh, you know, whatever, working a job, whatever. So 80%, guys, I would say, like, as, as you know, for young men in, in the United States, I'm just giving you an example here, from, from high school all the way up until probably the end of college and you know even longer than that but i'm just using those those years as as an example because those are the those are the years where you you have you know the most energy right men young men are wasting their time completely wasting their time so think about it this way right i or you know what i'm gonna uh yeah so i had a conversation with this guy uh, a few days ago at my, at my job, right? And he comes in, he's a regular, he's like 60, he's like 65, right? And I was talking to him, he was just, you know, he was just kind of like talking, talking to me about like his youth and what he did and blah, blah, blah. And uh, he partied a lot, right? He partied a lot. He had money, right? He, he, he made good money in his youth, but he wasted it. He wasted his money. He partied on weekends, vacation, spring break, etc. And he told me, I asked him a question. I was like, I was like, do you wish you didn't do it? And he's like, yeah, I wish I, I wish I didn't do it. And you know what he said to me? He said, when you were there, right, it felt good. It felt good. It was amazing, you know, having fun, talking to girls, blah, blah, blah. But he said, you know, years later, when you know things aren't going too well and you're not where you're at in life you know you look back and you wish you, you you didn't do those things right and that's what it is for a lot of people everyone's everyone you know our society is so instant gratification and live in the moment everyone's like you only live once live in the moment blah 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 no that that's a bad motto right that's a bad motto and this guy that I, that is regular at my store he he uh he illustrated that for me. He 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 illustrates it. He's 64, he still has to work, right? And so you so you look at the at young men, right? From the beginning of high school probably till, you know, the end of college, right? Whatever. And that's about a not that's about an 8 year time horizon, right? 4 years in in uh in high school and 4 years in college. So that's 8 years, right? So you you're you're, you're going to tell me, right? Think about it this way. You're going to waste eight years, which is a not, not very, it's a very short period of time, right? Where you, where you, where you have a lot of vital energy, right? During those, those years so that you can spend the next 35 to 40 years working and having to regret wasting all your, all just those, that short period of time, those eight, that eight year window that you wasted. You're gonna look back and say, oh shit, why didn't I just work hard? Why didn't I just build my foundation? Why didn't I invest my money in the right things? Why did I why did I waste so much time partying? Why? Why did I do that? Now I have to now I'm 35 or I'm 30. I don't have that much energy. Uh I don't have any skills. I'm you know, I'm addicted to alcohol and I wasted my youth. You know, that that's not a good, that's not a good regret. And here's the thing, you know, when I'm 30, right, I hope to be financially independent. I will be in financially independent. And there's going to be guys that had fun all the way from the beginning of high school to the end of college who are going to be 30, just like myself, right? Same age, but they're going to be working 40, 50 hours. And they're, and they're not going to be having fun, so-called fun, Right. I'm the one who's going to be enjoying my time, my freedom, right? And 
I, I think, I, like I said in a, in a past video, uh, my recent video, you know, we think that we can just push off adulthood until 30, 40, 50. But in reality, right, what, what high school and college doesn't, uh, doesn't really illustrate to young men is that when reality hits, when you're out of school, when those girls are gone and your social, you know, your social clique is, is disbanded, reality hits and reality hits hard because you don't, you want to know what matters now? Bills, income, how you're going to, how you're going to achieve financial freedom, right? But that's what matters right? Your money matters. How you manage your money, how you plan for your future, that's what matters. It doesn't matter what your social group is. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, what degree you got. I mean, to, to an extent it does, right? But, you know, most degrees are, are, are useless. It doesn't matter how good you did on that, on that test. What matters is income, bills, how you're going to achieve financial independence. How do I get from point A to point B in my life, right? Not when the next party is, not when I'm, you know, supposed to hang out with this girl next. I mean, girls are cool, but like I said, like I said, most young men's lives revolve around fun. And like I said, guys, I'm, I'm not opposed to fun. I enjoy video games. I enjoy watching sports. I enjoy hanging out with friends from time to time. You know, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy those things, but guys, life is life is a gift right? And so we're here. We're here for, I don't know. It, it may be one lifetime. It may be two. All I know is I got this life. I don't know about the whole re reincarnation, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. But all I know is I got this life. And if I'm here, I need to make the most of it. I need to see what is worth pursuing, what is not worth pursuing, what's going to make me fulfilled, what's not going to make me fulfilled. And success, financial independence, spirituality, freedom, good relationships, connection. That's what's worth it. That's what's worth it. And fun is just fun and, you know, pleasure. That's cool. Like I said, it's fine, but you, your life can't revolve around that. It can't be the main source, right? Because that's what it is. I noticed that. It's like these kids, man, these young men, they're just, you know, it's 80% fun you know, Fridays, the weekends, blah, blah, blah. And then, oh, I got to do homework. And then, oh, I can have fun. But it's like, yo, like, it's much more than that. Life's much more than that, man. All that shit's going to go away. What people don't under understand is that you have to have a long time horizon. I mentioned this in another video. And, you know, four years goes by fast. And, and what happens is we get so hypnotized in the moment. We think that this, this, um, this school experience is gonna is gonna last for a while, and it's not, man. It goes by, <laughs> it goes by really fast. And so, if you're not on your p's and q's, if you're not working, if you're not improving, you're gonna find yourself 30, 40, all fucked up, wondering having a midlife crisis, wondering why you didn't pursue the right things at a young age, why you didn't build your foundation, right? So it's really the time horizon thing. You think about it, right? I, I just mentioned this eight years, you're going to, so for example, right? I've been self-improvement, self-improving since 15 when I started working out, right? So from now, probably until 24 is typically when the average person grad, 24 is typically, 23, 24 is when the average young man probably graduates, gets his bachelor's degree, whatever. Myself, I'm not being cocky, but I'm way ahead of the people that are partying right now in school. I'm just, it's a fact, right? I'm not bragging. It's just a fact, right? So by the time I'm 30, I'm going to be miles ahead of the people right now, the men that are fucking around thinking that this is it, living the moment, instant gratification, blah, 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 blah. This is what life's about. And then when they graduate, reality hits them, bills hit them, car payments, insurance, shit like that hits them. And they're like, oh, fuck. And it really, it really hits them in the face. Like, holy shit, this is reality. So, like I said, there's nothing wrong with pursuing fun here and there, right? I play video games. I just played last night. I enjoy Halo. I like watching sports. The NBA playoffs are on right now. I, I enjoy them. But I'm not, those are things I do on the weekends. 
for a day or two, right? I don't, my life isn't revolved around them. I'm not one of these, uh, you know, hard, die hard fans of video games where, where I have to buy the next one or I'm, I'm, you know, so obsessed with sports and I have to catch every game and, you know, I have to be at this party. I have to talk to this girl. I don't, I don't care about that. I care about where I'm going. I care about my future. I, that's what matters. That's what matters in this life, guys. So I think you get the point here. Kind of went on a rant, but uh, I think this was much needed for some of you guys, myself included. I, I always uh, like to remind myself of these things because, like I said, guys, life's short. And who knows? We may only get one. I, you know, I, I think reincarnation may be a thing, but that's another topic. You get this life. Take it seriously. Enjoy fun here and there. But know what matters and know what doesn't. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, feel free to leave them down below. And I will do my best to get back to you. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.